Hi guys, so I know this looks a little bit different today, but we're trying new things. And today's challenge is find the missing numbers and it's subtraction edition. So not addition, edition, like ed is a tie. Okay. <laughs> We are going to do the same thing that we did with the addition challenge, except for this time it's going to be subtraction. So let me get your problems written down and we'll get started. All right guys, so we're back and look at all of those missing numbers. Oh dear, whatever shall we do? Well, I'm gonna tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do some math and solve our problems. Well, at least these problems. So, first thing we want to, the first problem we want to look at, we're going to start on the left and then we're going to work our way right. Now, I'm going to give you two options <laughs> to how you can complete this challenge. The first is that you can screenshot this and use the pen tool under your pictures. And the second option is for you to grab a piece of paper, write them down, and solve them along with me. Before I solve each problem, I'm going to give you time to work it out. So make sure you pause and then come back and watch how we work it out together. So go ahead and pause and either screenshot or write down the problem and solve it. Then we'll come back together and we will see if your answers are correct. Let's begin. So my first box, I'm always going to start here in the ones place, okay? We're not going to subtract from the left. We're not going to subtract from the middle. We always start with that ones place. So, three ones minus, who knows how many, equals two ones. Three minus what will give me two? If you said one, that is absolutely correct. Three minus one is two. Now let's move on to the second column. This one's a little trickier. Now before we move on, let me talk about how we can figure out what this number is. Now this one's pretty easy, very simple, okay? You can either do three minus two and get that one, or you can start with two and count up to three. And by counting up, I mean you start with two and think of them as little steps in your head. So if two was right here and I needed to get to three, how many hops would that be? How many rails of the ladder would I have to climb. And so to go from two to three, I would only have to climb one rail. So this column is going to take a different strategy because instead of not knowing this missing piece, I don't know what number I'm starting with. And since I'm up here in with the starting number, I have to use a different strategy. So the best way to think of it is you could do blank minus six equals one, or you could just add. We can do one plus six gives me what? And one plus six is seven, because remember addition is the opposite of subtraction. So seven minus six equals one. Next column, what place is this? Do you remember? It's the hundreds place. So four minus two equals you already knew this. We just want to know the difference, which is the answer to a subtraction problem. Four minus two is two. So these are missing numbers. Check and see if you were correct. All right guys, so let's try our second problem. 9,000 something 52 minus 600 and who knows what, because there's a one in the tens place, but we don't know what that ones place is. Hmm, very tricky. Let's see, go ahead and pause the video now, solve it, and when you come back, we'll go through it together. All right, let's begin. So two minus something equals five. Now, if you've ever had two oranges and you took some away, I don't think you'd ever get five oranges. So there's something wacky going on here. What do you think is going on? What special property does subtraction have that I could get a larger number here than what I'm starting with up there? 
If you said regrouping, you are absolutely correct. So what has to happen here is that this number has to be larger than the two, right? Now, just because this number is larger than the two doesn't mean that the bottom number is bigger than the top number, okay? You can't do that if the whole number was larger than the top number. But we can safely assume that this number cannot be zero and it cannot be one because I don't have to regroup when I subtract those two numbers. So it has to be a number larger than two. Well, why don't we go ahead and regroup and see where that gets us, right? So whenever we regroup, that means that we are taking from another place and giving it to um, the original place that we started with. So I'm gonna take one group of 10 from five tens, so now I have four tens. And then I'm gonna take that 10, that one rod of 10, and we're going to break that rod apart into 10 little pieces and give 10 ones to the ones place. Now, what's 10 ones plus two? You said 12, that is absolutely correct. Now, that's our starting number. 12 minus what will give me five? If you said seven, you are absolutely correct. Another way to do this is to, like we did over here, you can count up or you can just subtract 12 minus five and that will give you seven. All right, in this column, the tens column, we are going to just subtract. Look at there, four minus one is three. Now, last one. What minus six equals two? If you said eight, that is absolutely correct. Now, we're going to talk about this subtraction part right here together because I actually left that off. And we're gonna talk about what happens to this column. So this is the thousands column. Remember the thousands is separated from the hundreds with a column. In fact, every three places from the right is going to be separated by a column as our numbers get larger and larger. But what's special about this situation is that there is actually nothing here to subtract from the 9,000. So, how should we treat it? Remember that when there's nothing here, what is a number that represents nothing? Zero, right? So we would imagine that there is a zero right here. Well, what's nine minus zero? And that answer is nine. So the final answer, or the difference, is 9,235. All right, you ready for the last one? It's the most challenging yet. So three minus something equals four. Now we've seen this before. The difference is larger than your top number, which we can assume that there's, we can't subtract anything minus three minus anything that would get me four, right? That's not going to work. So we've got to regroup. This number has to be a number, this digit has to be a, a digit larger than the three. So we're going to regroup. Take one ten from the tens place, break it apart into ten ones, and give it to the ones place. So ten ones plus three ones is thirteen. Thirteen minus what would give me four? Hmm. We can start with four and count up, or you could just do thirteen minus four, and thirteen minus four is nine. All right, four minus eight. Ooh, can I do that? I can just write four down here, right? Absolutely not. Don't do it. Do not give in to the temptation. I see so many fourth graders make that mistake. Don't do it. We must regroup. So we're gonna regroup now from the hundreds place. And the, the all of the places follow the same pattern, where if I take one from a certain column, so now that we have six hundreds, I can break it apart into 10 pieces, and that will be 10 of whatever the next column is. 
right? So 100, if I break it apart, would be 10 tens. Now what's four tens plus 10 tens? If you said 14 tens, that is absolutely correct. 14 minus eight is six. Six minus some, now let's, sorry, <laughs> I got excited. Let's move on to the next column. So hundreds column, six minus what would give me three? We can start with three and count up. Three, four, five, six. So we counted up three times. So six minus three equals three. Last one, eight minus what will give me two? If you said six, that is absolutely correct. And I need to go back and add something that I left off. Do you know what I'm missing right here? If you said a comma, you are absolutely correct. So make sure you include those commas. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to give it a like and get ready because there's more challenges coming your way. Bye.